What's going on guys, Killer6 back with another video for you guys in Borderlands the pre-sequel and today I've got something special for you. This is the first footage of Dan Zando, a rare spawn enemy in the veins of Helios. I don't think anybody else at all has covered this, I've checked every day because I've been trying to get him every day and just last night me and my buddy John, as you can see here on the screen, to Sloth, we both uh, were able to, to get this to happen. So first off, to get him to spawn, you will have needed to have completed the Don't Get Cocky Kid mission, which is available from the bounty board in Jack's office, after completing a series of missions including the Quarantine Mission Quests and the Laszlo Missions in Helios. Now, after completing the Don't Get Cocky mission, you can then redo this event from the same platform every time you play. The, uh, the goal is to get as much points as possible, but there are several problems. First off, you can't see your score. Second, the doll fighters are a pain in the ass. And third, this doll cannon that you're going to uh, be working from is burst fire only. So there's a bit of a learning curve to it. So um, as you can see, the path that I've taken here is what you want to use. Now, when you hit this jump pad right here, do not boost. You don't need to boost. This pad takes you right to the platform. No boosting, no butt slamming, nothing required. Make sure you turn on your air so you stay alive. All right. So. When you land here, Jack and Lassiter will have a little bit of a conversation with you, explaining the goal. Basically, you're going to summon a worker bot, and you're going to try and keep the, the worker bot's health up as much as possible while destroying everything that is floating out in space. Now, a quick note, make sure you clear the path for the worker bot because he does take damage from running into debris as well. Now, if you score high enough, as I did right here, then a message will pop up that says Record Breaker, and then the number at the bottom will be your score. Mine was 1,227,470. Now, once you see that, you want to grab the chest that the worker bot brought in for you, and then head back across the map to begin looking for Dan Zando. Now, once you find him, don't just kill him and save and quit, because he will spawn all over the map. So on this run, I think we got five, maybe six Dan Zandos. Now, as far as his loot pool is concerned, it appears that he has a high chance to drop skins, moonstone, and blue weapons and gear. So far, I haven't gotten any uniques or legendary items from him, though. So let me know in the comments below, have you guys seen Dan Zando before? Has he dropped you anything? And as always, if you enjoyed this video, then please take a second to click that like button, share this video with your friends, and hit subscribe for more Borderlands tips, tricks, reviews, and Easter egg videos. I'm going to go ahead and let this video roll out with the other kills that we get on him. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.